political sensation prevailed in Eshilong's Polo area yesterday after laborers from outside engaged in renovation work of the JN Stadium were allegedly assaulted by members of a pressure group. Well, the laborers and a technician from a private firm in Delhi were allegedly assaulted on JN Stadium premises in Polo grounds following a supposed drive to check the labor's license. Well, the labourers were hired for paving work as part of the stadium's renovation in preparation for the upcoming Duran Cup tournament in the city. It is suspected that the assault may have taken place following the checking of documents by a pressure group. Well, Tourism Minister Paul Lingdo, while reacting to the incident, stated that he was yet to get any input on it but urged everyone to maintain restraint. Lengdo also reacted to the recent setting up for the ILP check kit by the pressure groups. On the ongoing uh, drive against uh, checking documents by some pressure groups. I think uh, the proper authority, uh, the appropriate uh, authority concerned would be the Home Department as the uh, Deputy CM in charge Home is also around. I think he would be the best person for you to talk to. But don't you think that putting up an ILP check gate by themselves will not affect the tourism? Because I think this will be a result. I don't see any uh, major controversy arising out of this. It can be easily resolved and uh, I hope that, uh, the, uh, that good sense will prevail and we should be able to sort things out. So we are also getting reports of companies sending them to teach them pavement work and all of that uh, in mm -hmm. stadium GN, GN Stadium. And they are being uh, checked for documents and they are being thrashed and all of that. So all of this is happening. Uh, so, you know, the I, this, news, is, this is news, news to me. Yeah, this news, is news to me. I have not heard yeah, about it. Right. News travels really fast. Mm -hmm. And Meghalaya is really working uh, really hard to project itself as the one and only tourism destination Ultimate. in the Northeast. But such things are happening. So don't you think it will deter the efforts? Uh, I, as I said, I uh, would like the Deputy CM in charge home uh, to react because uh, a lot of what you shared with me is also uh, news to me. I have not heard about uh, this particular episode that you mentioned. And on the other hand, I, good sense should always prevail because whether it's the government, parties in the opposition or NGOs, we all are trying to lift Melia up, elevate the state to uh, enable us to unleash our full potential as a powerhouse of culture, music and therefore we would need each one to act responsibly. And for more insights and details in this regard, we, are, we have our news editor Navran Goswami joining us over the broadcast from Newsroom. We also have our correspondent from Shillong, Prabhasha Bhattacharya. Over to you, Navarun. Yes, Rishma. Another sensational incident there from Shillong. A report of assault on laborers from outside at the JN Stadium premises. Now, there is no official uh, statement from the police as such on what actually transpired there. But reports have been coming in that the laborers were engaged in renovation work of the JN Stadium ahead of the Duran Cup. Uh, in Shillong uh, were roughed up, were manhandled by members of a pressure group who were supposedly checking labor licenses. If I have Purbasha, Purbasha, has any confirmation come from the uh, city police, uh, Shillong city police or the East Khasil's police as far as uh, yesterday's incident in Polo is concerned? Purbasha. Well, Navarone, in the entire incident, let me first tell you uh, there are two parts. One thing is that as uh, this last almost one month, uh, soon after taking charge, the East Khasi Hills SP is uh, on leave. So East Khasi Hills population is around 10 to 15 lakh. And so the SP since uh, almost one month he is on leave and the uh, responsibility has now been uh, rested on uh, CDSP who, who is still a junior because he is 2018 batch. So the thing is that police are finding it uh, a bit difficult to control the situation or to uh, meet all the challenges because until and unless full-fledged SP uh, takes over the charge, these problems are supposed to happen. Second thing is that uh, neither government nor police they are saying anything to it. Again, 
the laborers coming here are supposedly uh, actually they are supposed to register themselves they, they are, uh, under this uh, labor labor commission they are supposed to register themselves their papers uh, needs to be uh, verified because this is uh, what the government has maintained that the laborers are supposed to be registered so these are not registered and in absence of uh, police no, no, doing no. actual purbasha 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 if i may come in here these laborers are engaged in renovation work of the jain stadium in shillong uh, ahead of the duran cup i'm sure they have been engaged by a firm which has again been roped in by the state government by the by the meghalaya government isn't it the responsibility of the firm concerned wherever it is from from delhi or anywhere outside isn't it the responsibility of the contractor or the firm concerned to get it registered is it also not the responsibility of the government department who has engaged the firm to ensure that if that is the norm the laborers should be registered secondly secondly even if they are not even if they are not can the government also allow in this case we are yet to get confirmation official statement official confirmation but can it be allowed for pressure groups to go in and randomly check uh, which has been happening uh, we just recently saw an ilp check gate being set up last uh, saturday last uh, in riboy uh, of course yes there are concerns as far as influx is concerned there are genuine concerns as far as meghalaya as far as shillong is concerned the pressure groups have been demanding have been raising genuine concerns as far as labor laws are concerned as far as uh, labor license is concerned as far as illegal influx is concerned as far as implementation of ilp is concerned all that is fine but but again again they are engaged in renovation work in a, on the premises of jain stadium it's a government project if their documents are missing who is responsible shouldn't the contractor take responsibility and indirectly shouldn't the concerned department also take responsibility there are a lot of concern uh, nabaron if you see that where were district administration where were the uh, sport department because this was uh, actually jain stadium is under a sport department where were sports department where were engineers where were contractors it seems that nobody is actually caring and no no clarification has come from the government side they are shying away from uh, taking responsibility or saying anything that's why i said that the uh, police department the sp is only so from a police department side also it's very uh, it, it's nothing serious See, that is, is that is that is a technical so thing if, that is a technical thing purbasha yeah, we're not getting a, into it i'm sure he is on his rightful leave so let's not get yeah but definitely there should be someone who's handling things and i'm sure the police department is taking care of it there's a cabinet meet scheduled uh, for the that evening that is my question yeah that there's is my question that yeah. there should be someone who should be taking care there should be someone from the district administration there should be someone from the sport we have had we there have had should be someone from the we have side. we have but, had uh, it seems that uh, the uh, there were some faults uh, why uh, the, even the pressure group has went ahead but the thing is that uh, since that thing has happened there were concerned uh, ilp center is mum on the issue so uh, there were uh, frustration there were anger and uh, the, the, there is a need for the government to address all these issues until and unless the issues Purvasha, are Purvasha, uh, Purvasha, Minister Paul Lingdo has called for calm, has called for restraint. We have a cabinet meet uh, this evening. Can we expect the government to call the pressure groups for talks? As uh, Paul Lingdo said, the issues can be resolved through talks, can be addressed. Uh, can we expect, uh, we had this ILP check gate being set up in Ribhoi. Now this uh, uh, drive for checking labor license, which resulted in that alleged assault yesterday. Can we expect, the need of that probably is for the government to call the pressure groups, those pressure groups are on ground for talks. Can we expect that? As of now, we cannot say exactly whether it can be expected or not. But Chief Minister Conrad Sangma has maintained that we will take up the issues of uh, ILP language resolution again with the centre. But when it will be when, because he had already had meeting with uh, some of the ministers there. But when uh, he will take up these issues, when he will call the and uh, pressure groups for talk, we have to see that. When ultimately this happens, everyone is waiting. All right, all right. Purbasha Bhattacharya, thank you so much. Purbasha there, Ashilang Krasmar. Nobody, Reshma.